Unrequited robs me of my rest. Love, hopeless love, my ardent soul encumbers. Love, nightmare like, lies heavy on my chest and weaves itself into my midnight slumber. Lined awake with a dismal headache and reposes to boot by anxiety. I conceive you may use any language you choose to indulge him without impropriety. For your brain is on fire, the vengeance conspired of usual slumber to plunder you. First your counterpane goes and then covers your toes, then the sheets of stimuli from under you. Then the black thing tickles, you feel like it's pickles, so terribly sharp is the pricking. And you're hot, you're cross, and you tumble and toss till there's nothing to you and the ticking. Then the vectors all creep to the ground and heap, and you pick them all up in the tangle. The next your pillow resigns and politely declines to remain at its usual angle. When you get some repose in the form of a dose, with all tibles and head ever aching. But your slavering teens with such horrible dreams that you'd very much better be waking. For you dream you are crossing the channel and tossing about in the steamer from Hanich, which is something between a large bathing machine and a very small second class carriage. And you're giving a treat, any ice and cold meat, to a party of friends or relations. They had a ravenous horde and they all came on board at Sun Square and South Kensington stations. And bound on that journey, you find your attorney who started that morning from Devon. He's a bit undersized and you don't feel surprised when he tells you, It's only 11! When you're driving to man with his singular lad, by the by, the ship's now a four-wheeler. And you're playing round games when he calls you bad names and you tell him that ties pay the dealer. Well, he's constant, you throw up your hand and you find it as cold as an ice cold. In your shirt and your socks are black and gold clocks crossing souls will be playing on the bicycle. And he and the crew are on bicycles too, we say somehow or other invested in. And he's telling the tars all the particulars of a company he's interested in. It's a scheme of devices to get in your prices of goods and compenses to tables. Which tickled the sailors by treating the retailers, although they were all vegetables. You get a good statement to plant a small trace, but first take off his boots with a boot tree. And his legs will take root, and his fingers will shoot to the blossom and bud like a fruit tree. From the green grocery tree, you get a base of green pea, cauliflower, pineapple, and cranberries. While the pastry cook plant cherry brandy. You'll grant up a thousand to your orders and families. The shares of the penny and ever so many are taken by Ross Allen Baring. And just as a few were allowed to take you, you awake with a shirt and he's burning. You're a regular wreck with a crick in your neck and a one you used off of your heads on the floor and your needles and pins for your associations. Your flesh is a creep for your left, let's sleep and you crack and your toes with the flying nose. So fluff in your lung and a fever in your tongue and a thirst is intense in the general sense. Do you have me sleeping in clover? The darkness has passed in daylight at last, and the night has been long. Do my song, and thank goodness.